Okay, hello everybody. So yesterday, I had the craziest thing happen to me. Um, I was just, you know, at home listening to some records. And, um, you know, it's, it's Thanksgiving, obviously. So um, my sister's boyfriend, who lives out of town, um, came into town and he came over for a visit last night. And so, you know, he just came in and I was like, oh, hey, you know, what's going on, dude? And he hands me something and I just, I couldn't believe it. And I'm actually going to show it to you in this video. He comes up to me and he's like, this is for you. And then he hands me this. And I almost have a flipping heart attack. Like it was nuts. Like I, I was jumping up and down basically. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Samhain. Samhain box set. You know, what's really crazy is actually, I was looking at this on eBay, um, I don't know, about a week ago, and I saw it for like $150, and uh, I was I wanted to get it, but you know, I didn't want to spend $150, so I didn't end up getting it. But yeah, he, he gives this to me for free, and, and I was like, you know, I start jumping up and down, I'm all excited, and once I simmer down for a little bit, I'm like, how'd you get this? And apparently, he knew a guy on... Um, on, on Facebook who uh, posted it, um, a picture of it, and he was like, I don't want to throw this away, who wants it, you know, I've had this for like 10 years, and I, I want to get rid of it, and so he ended up, you know, getting it for me, which, um, you know, what can I say, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for. Um, I've got <clears throat> everything laid out on the bed, I also have a few pieces of Samhain vinyl to show, because I, I figured I may as well just throw them in the video, so... Here we go. So, uh, I don't think I showed you the back of the box actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So this box that includes all Samhain material, all of it. It includes four remastered CDs available for the first time in years, uh, including the Unholy Passion EP, which I didn't own before this box set. I, I was looking for it on vinyl, but it's really expensive on vinyl. Uh, November Coming Fire, uh, Final Descent, which an, another album I I don't I didn't own, and also a Sam Hain live CD. Uh, it also comes with a few extra things, so we'll go through this here. It comes with this comic book first of all. Um, it's I don't think it's appropriate to show the first page here, so I'm gonna actually skip that. But. I will show you this really cool picture here. I love this picture. This might be my favorite Sam Hain picture of all time. Just look at that. Crazy. And, um, yeah, it's a really cool comic. Quite short, just eight pages long. But, yeah, nevertheless, pretty cool comic here. Here's the back. Another really cool picture. Really, really nice. Definitely. Okay. Moving on. Uh, it also comes with, I think this is a 28-page booklet. Which I will go through. It's got really cool pictures inside. Um, I think also, I think these photos at that point in time were unreleased. Some of these photos I've seen since this box set, so. Uh, it also comes with some liner notes on what it was like to work with Glenn Danzig. Here's something really interesting. Uh, my vinyl copy of Initium does not come with a lyric inserts, unfortunately, and I really, really was hell-bent on getting a lyric insert, but luckily, this booklet actually contains Initium lyrics. Look at that. That's fantastic. I did not own an, an Initium lyric sheet. And now we've got the lyrics, printed lyrics. So that's pretty cool. Here's a nice photo collage of uh, live shows. Really, really cool. Um, I should add, by the way, that the contents of this box set are like really, really mint condition. I mean, the dude that owned this, he just really did not like this at all. Like, I, I think he just never even opened this book, probably. Um... Some more photos. Let's 
some more photos. I really, really like this picture, by the way. That's a really awesome picture. And uh, it also comes with, I do have a lyric insert for this one, but it also comes with November Coming Fire lyrics as well, which I think is coming up pretty soon. It's got really interesting stories written in here, by the way, as well. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the November Coming Fire lyrics, which uh, has really cool photos of the band during that time. And we're almost near the end here. And here we go. This is the last page here. So yeah. Really, really cool stuff, that booklet. 28 pages long. Unreleased photos, lyrics, nice. Okay, so I'm moving on to uh, CDs. So here's the Initium CD. These are all just like sleeves, basically. Which, you know, I don't mind. Um, they fit really nicely in the box, That I think. So I don't really mind them being just sleeves. It's a really cool box set anyway, so... I'm not really looking for jewel cases here. Here's the Unholy Passion EP, which uh, a CD I did not own. And here's the back of that one. Really, really cool. I really want to own this on vinyl one day. Uh, this is November Coming Fire. Here's the back. Final Descent. The CD there. And the last CD here is Live Sam Hain in 1985 and 86 as well. It's got a really good collection of songs on here. It's got even a Misfits cover of uh, Death Comes Ripping. But other than that, it's got like, you know, just a lot of classic Sam Hain songs. The last thing it comes with is this really cool VHS tape. If I can just get it to focus here. VHS tape, um, nothing, nothing really on the back here, but it's got a little damage there, but I mean, again, all of this just looks like really, really flippin' man condition. Look at that. Damn thing looks unplayed. Um, but yeah, that is the Sam Hain box set that I got completely for free and um, you know what can I say I'm really really happy and stoked and just totally grateful to have that in my collection um, I thought I'd also throw in some of the records I have here for Sam Hain I've shown some of these before but I've actually upgraded them in a few ways and I'll tell you how so first of all this is uh, Initium on vinyl this is a repress, actually. I think it's a repress from 1991, I believe. That's only according to Discogs. It may be, like, I don't know, earlier than that. Who knows? But I've actually upgraded it a little bit because at Comic-Con, I actually bought this picture at 2013 Comic-Con. And the guy that sold this to me, he actually... I think he did the artwork for one of Glenn's solo albums. I forgot which one it was. But yeah, he sold it to me. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool reproduction. Nice print quality, glossy. And yeah, I just keep it as an insert for the LP now. And uh, here's the actual vinyl itself, the label. Evil Live Music. That's how you can tell it's a repress because the original press had Hellbent on it. And yeah, that's my vinyl copy of Initium. As I said, it does not have a lyric insert sheet. Most copies don't have a lyric insert sheet. So having the booklet with the lyrics, that's really nice. I think it just completely makes up for it, really. Um, here is November Coming Fire, um, an album on vinyl that's coming coming to be, you know, really, really rare, actually. Um, especially copies that come with the uh, inserts which most copies seem to not have an insert. 
Um, here's the back. This is an original press, actually. The original United States press, which is actually the m most common one to find. I think the one that's the least common is probably the colored vinyl edition on orange vinyl. And maybe after that, the revolver edition from the UK. Um, I also found this really cool sticker at a San Diego fair. And I decided to add it as an insert for the LP. It it didn't cost much either. It cost like maybe $5. Which I thought was a pretty good deal because I've never ever seen this sticker before. And I haven't seen it since. Nice and glossy and yeah. Really cool sticker. Here's the insert for the LP. Mine does come with the insert. And I must add to you guys that my copy is really, really in fantastic, fantastic condition. Um, a lot of these inserts are, you know, bent and ripped and not taken care of. It's also a fold-out insert. Hold on a second. So folds out like so. I guess you can use it as a poster, but I wouldn't dare do that. Here's the label. Hellbent. If I can get it to focus here. 1986. Pressing of November coming fire. Okay, so yeah, that is definitely all I have to show. I want to give a big thanks to Chris Sanchez for acquiring all this stuff for me. I can't tell you how grateful I am to have this box in my collection. And yeah, that is pretty much all I have to show this time around. I will see you guys all later. Thank you for watching and goodbye.